Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Creating a drop down menu in Cargo 2 and Cargo 3 requires different approaches due to the differences in their interfaces and capabilities. Below, I will provide a step by step tutorial for both versions, including code examples. Creating a drop down menu in Cargo 2. Cargo 2 allows for more customization through HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here's how to create a simple drop down menu. Step 1 Create the HTML structure. In Cargo 2, go to the page where you want to add the drop down menu. Use the HTML section to add the following code HTML div class equals drop down. Button class equals drop ton menu slash button. Div class equals drop down content. A ref equals link one slash a. A ref equals link two slash a. A ref equals link three slash a. Slash div. Slash div. Step two add CSS styles. You need to add CSS to style the drop down menu. Go to the Styles section and add the following CSS. CSS. Dot drop down. Position, relative. Display, inline block. Dot drop ton. Background color, 4CAF50, slash asterisk green asterisk slash. Color, white. Padding, 16px. Font size, 16 px border none dot drop down content display none position absolute background color f9 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 min width 160 px box shadow 0 px 8 px 16 px 0 px rupa 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 Z index, 1. Dot drop down content A. Color, black. Padding, 12px 16px. Text decoration, none. Display, block. Dot drop down content A hover. Background color, F1 F1 F1. Dot drop down hover dot drop down content. Display, block. Step 3, Save and Preview. Save your changes and preview your site. You should see a button that displays a drop-down menu when hovered over. Dash. Creating a drop-down menu in Cargo 3. Cargo 3 has a more modern interface and utilizes a different method for drop-down menus, typically through its built-in navigation options. However, you can still customize it with code. Step 1, create the drop-down menu in navigation. 1. Go to your Cargo 3 project. 2. Navigate to the site settings navigation. 3. Here, you can add items to your navigation. To create a drop-down, simply create a parent item, example menu, and then nest child items underneath it. Step 2, customize with code, optional. If you want to add custom styles or behavior to the drop-down, you can do so by injecting custom CSS and JavaScript. Example CSS In your site settings, go to the code injection section and add the following CSS. CSS Slash asterisk basic styles for drop-down asterisk slash Dot nav item Position, relative Dot .nav drop down display none position absolute background white box shadow 02px 5px rupa 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0.15 dot .nav item hover dot .nav drop down display block slash asterisk show drop down on hover asterisk slash Dot .nav drop down a color black padding 
10px 15px. Text decoration, none. Display, block. Dot NAV drop down A hover. Background color, F1 F1 F1. Example JavaScript, optional. If you want to control the drop down with a click instead of hover, you can add the following JavaScript. JavaScript. Document.query selector all. Dot NAV item a, dot for each, item equals. Item dot add event listener, click, function. Const drop down equals this dot next element sibling. If, drop down. Drop down dot class list dot toggle, show. Slash slash close the drop down if the user clicks outside of it. Window dot on click equals function, event. If, event.target.matches, dot nav item a. Document dot query selector all, dot nav drop down dot show, dot for each, drop down equals. Drop down dot class list dot remove, show. Step 3, save and preview. Save your changes and preview your site. You should see your customized drop down menu in action. Conclusion. In both Cargo 2 and Cargo 3, creating a drop-down menu involves adding HTML for structure, CSS for styling, and optionally JavaScript for functionality. Cargo 2 offers more freedom for coding, while Cargo 3 focuses on built-in features with customization options. Make sure to adjust the styles and links to fit your design needs.